Hi guys, it's me, Faye, here at Faye Desk, and I know this video has been, like, forever in the making, and it feels really weird to be in front of the camera again, as I'm sure you're aware, apart from my videos you would have seen at Christmas time, I haven't actually uh, filmed anything. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just crumbling for a cold. But haven't actually filmed anything, oh god, I want to say eight, nine months. And there's, there's lots of, mm, lots of reasons for that really. So this video is basically going to be an update and to say hello and I'm back and I'm looking forward to doing more filming. And also to th thank you guys that you still keep supporting me and stuff and people even still keep subscribing to my channel and I am... Um, on my Facebook page, uh, Faye Dusk, which I'm still very active on, the link's in the comments. People still like my posts and stuff all the time, which is really nice. And anywho, let's get into this update. But before I do update, I'm sure those of you who are regular watchers of my channel will notice that my background has finally changed. I've finally done the last part of my room, so there will be a room tour very soon. Just have a couple of bits to hang up on the wall and stuff. And I'm not sure how well you can see on camera, but this is my new working altar. I don't know how well you can see, as I'm a bit far back. I should have put the camera a bit more forward, really. But anyway, this is my new working altar. I still have my other very much beloved altar, and that is still up. But once I've done um, my room tour and stuff, I'll talk all about... Uh, my new working altar as opposed to my other altar and blah 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 but anyway as usual I'm going off track so uh let's get started with this update so update 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 <laughs> um <coughs> where to start I'm trying to think because I haven't because it's been so long since I've actually properly filmed videos like filmed in a series and stuff like that I'm quite behind with uh trying to think of when I actually sort of told you, last told you an update. And I'm sure one of the last updates I did uh, was when I got my previous job, when I finally left, because I said I worked in a sh supermarket, it was the last place I worked, and I'd cast a little spell for finding a new job and wanting to find something that was a bit more me until I can actually work for myself full time and whatever. And I managed to get what was for me at the time what seemed like my perfect dream job. And this uh, was at an opticians. Uh, it was called Me Healthcare. I can't remember if I said anything about it or not. I really can't Any, Anyway, so I got a, a job at an opticians as an optical assistant. And it was really, really cool, and I really, really loved it in the hours as well, because before I was doing um, shift work, sometimes I'd be starting work at 5 o'clock in the morning, or I wouldn't be finishing till 11, 12 at night, and I just hated I never knew when my days off work, they always changed, my starting times, finishing times changed, and it just messed with my body clock. And basically, until I got myself sorted, until I got to do what I want to do, which is launch m my business full-time, working for myself and whatnot, I just wanted something where I start the same day, I have the same days off, I start at the same time, finish at the same time, you know exactly where I'm coming, going, um, you know, more money, usual sort of stability type things, and at my job at the opticians at Me Healthcare, that's exactly what that that was, I had to work, and I also wanted weekends off, uh, alternated weekends off, so I had to work, sometimes work Saturday, sometimes work a bit for Sunday, which was fine day off on the week I started the same time every day it was basically like near enough office hours I used to start about quarters to ten and finish about six o'clock which is absolutely fine and I really loved it it was really good and I'm another girl started this part time the same day as me I became really good friends with her which was nice the optometrist there became good friends with as well so it was really nice and it was a nice small environment it was really fun and I really liked it and I really loved it and then crazy upon crazy like bombshell sort of thing uh i'd been at this point i'd been there just under three weeks and 
that was when I was in, had a feeling that the company was in trouble. This company wasn't a big company. It was only, there was like 11 stores across the country. And yeah, it wasn't a massive company by any, any stretch. But um, yeah, so I was like, yeah, so uh, things, basically things couldn't be fixed. So basically um, the first thing is that our printer, uh, it ran out of toner and like ink and uh, so obviously we had to start handwriting everyone's like a copy of their prescriptions or stuff and all forms and it just took twice as long and when I found out then we couldn't reach that um, loads of other stores were having the same thing that they need a new toner but because it's big industrial printers it's really expensive and then just things like that started happening the main thing that happened afterwards that our server our server for the internet had gone, our internet wasn't working and we had problems with equipment and we caught companies and um, the electrical, well the, com the IT company had dealt with it and basically they couldn't do anything because they were waiting for head office to make a payment and at this time we were having phone conferences and things like that and the area manager was ringing and there were statements being released to us saying that they're hoping to get more investors. At this point the staff that had been there they hadn't been paid for like must be nearly two months and people were getting really upset and walking out and like really stressed out and it was just really horrible it's more horrible for the fact that i was just like oh my god literally i've just left my job start a new job and like three weeks down the line of finding out that this company's actually in financial trouble like big financial trouble and yeah every day just coming it was quite really stressful just going in every day and sort of wondering if we're going to hear whether they found more investors or someone to buy the company and what was going to happen and and then and then one uh, afternoon like we kept being told we were going to hear more information and we weren't and then one afternoon literally um i had a phone call at the um on the work phone for someone at head office saying there was going to be a conference call and like 10 minutes or something like that and I was like oh my god this can't be good so me and the optometrist we went in on the uh, conference call and uh, yeah went on the conference and basically they said the company's going into liquidation and that was it they said uh, basically the director of the company she didn't even have the courtesy to come in on the call and say I'm really sorry but and yeah so that was that then and it was just I remember I was crying because I just I really loved the job I loved the people I worked with and it was just so fun and it just it was close to home and just and it really sort of like fitted what I was looking for and I was just so upset and so devastated and I was just and also it's like a worry because I was just like well, what am I going to do do for money obviously the company that I've been working at this company now for a few weeks obviously they can't afford to pay me so I had to go through this whole rigmarole of claiming the money back from the government. It was about six months before I got the money back. And uh, um, because I was owed money um, uh, from the company, like I tried to claim uh, job seekers allowance while I was looking for a job. And I was told because I was already owed money that I couldn't claim anything until after I'd received the payment. Which really wasn't helpful. So it was just a really, really stressful time. And, and so this should have sort of given me a time scale really so this is going back I started this job uh, end of May and it was sort of like towards the end of June that got made redundant so right in the so in the middle of summer I had to borrow some money from family just to get through from my bills like my mom she was really good she helped me as much as she could and it was just so stressful and I felt so down and worried and depressed and I was having to spend every day trying to um, find a job, every day, like, I was just literally um, applying for so many jobs and sending out my CVs and I was just not hearing back or getting rejections and I was just getting really downhearted and really worried and and just, just such a horrible, like, horrific time. I think my battery's going to die, so bear with me. Sorry, battery died. But yeah, no, it's just such a stressful time, so I think that's why, so I'm pretty sure that's when I, near enough, stopped filming videos, really. So I was just so down and depressed and worried about money and trying to find a job, and 
I mean, I had loads of time in the day to film videos and stuff, but I just, that just sort of wasn't my main focus. But anyway, to cut a long story short, I, um, my sister was looking for jobs at me and she emailed me some jobs that she'd found on local newspapers website and I applied for those and one of them was for an office job with an optical company the lens manufacturing side like for lenses for glasses and it was uh it was in it was a bit further away from where I live but uh it was an office job the pay was really good it was Monday to Friday as well which is what I'd always wanted I always wanted uh my weekends off my weekends for me so yeah so i was really pleased it was monday to friday uh the pay was um really good uh so i um i applied at the file application form i applied and then i had an email saying to call it for an interview so i called for an interview I had an interview the following week so this is going to towards the end of july and I had an interview and that went quite well and then a few hours later on the same day I got another telephone call for a um, second interview so I set that up for the following week. Um, went for my interview and then, yeah second interview and then uh, that seemed okay it was all really quick and over and done with and then I didn't hear anything. And I was sort of told like at the end of the interview by one of the people in the interview that I would hear something within sort of like the next few days or so towards the end of the week this is at the beginning of the week that I'd had the second interview I didn't hear anything really stressed uh, no I didn't hear anything while well, I was stressed but yes I didn't hear anything so sort of like it came to the next week and it'd been a week since the second interview and I was like I'm sure I would have thought I would have heard now either way so I called up and and put me through to like the finance manager the one who was uh, sort of charge of recruiting and stuff and as uh, he sort of said, oh, we haven't made our decision yet or whatever. And I was like, oh, so I hear either way. And he was sort of like, um, um, yeah, yeah, you will. Uh, we'll write to you or whatever. And I was like, that's a bit strange. Like, just sort of seemed really unsure. So basically, I started applying again for other stuff, thinking I'm not going to hear anything because this was another week, a couple of weeks have passed, and I still hadn't heard anything. I thought, well, I'm good enough. I haven't got this job because they would have contacted me. And then... So we're going to three weeks, two, no, maybe two or three weeks. Yeah, after the, yeah, about three weeks, I think after the second interview on the Monday morning, I got a phone call. I had a missed call and a voicemail saying, can you ring? So I rang them and he, and he was like, oh, we'd like to offer you the job. I was just like, oh my God, literally the like excitement, the relief. I just, I just literally was just so shocked. I was just like, oh my God, like all these months have been searching because it was exactly what I wanted. I wanted something office wise. I wanted something Monday to Friday, good pay, same hours each day. And and I was so chuffed. And basically I started the job a week later. So this is going to the middle of August now. And I, by the time I started work, I'd been out of work a couple of months. Obviously I was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. And luckily the time I started, um, I was able to get paid a couple of weeks later. So I had money again and it was just such a relief and I just felt so yeah it was just amazing but I did really really struggle when I first started I think because I'd been out I'd been out of work for a couple of months and obviously I was really desperate to get a job and stuff again but I got used to not working and yeah and because I got used to not work I got used to not working as well and when I started work, this is sort of like a small office environment, like with warehouse stuff as well, sort of like packing and whatnot. And I, when I first, I'd never worked in that sort of environment before. This is like my first, well, this was my first proper office job. And I just, it took me so long to adjust in the beginning. I remember the first couple of days I came back. I mean, everyone was really nice. But I just felt so overwhelmed. I was crying. I was really upset. I wasn't sure whether I was going to look for something else. And... It took me a really, really long time to adjust. I mean, I've been there now about nearly nine months. And I've only really just started the last few months to start to properly feel comfortable. And I just, I don't know, I guess it, it wasn't, 
what I expected. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I guess because I'd never really properly been in that environment, I didn't know what to expect. And, yeah, so it was just, it was hard. I mean, now... Now it's, I mean, it's not what I want to do for the rest of my life, obviously. It's, well, for me personally, it's just not me. Like, I can't think too much about being in a 9 to 5 every day sort of thing because, ironically, even though this is what I really, really wanted, I mean, that old adage, be careful what you wish for, comes to mind, I feel, I do feel suffocated. And I think this is a really good experience for me because it's shown me that I'm, too free spirited like nine to five life it just really it isn't me and it's and it's been good because it's really cemented my belief that i and it's pushed me more to be like well you need to get off your ass then and really really work for you want to be able to work for yourself all time you want to make this dream of yours come true you really need to push for it and and i will definitely will but anyway this has been like a really really long rambly video but in a roundabout sort of way, what I was trying to say is why I haven't been filming for so long. And, yeah, and I plan on being back filming now. And I was sort of waiting to have my room finished as this wall behind me was the last wall that needed finishing. And so that's all done. And I plan on now trying to get back into a proper filming schedule, which I find finding harder now because I'm only off on weekends i find it hard sometimes to try and cram in everything i need to do whereas before when i was working shift work even though i was working the same hours as now or more hours because i was starting i was having days off in the week and i was starting and finishing at different times like i was able to squeeze in things like in the week whereas now i find that that's not really possible so basically I've sort of come to the conclusion that I think I just need to sit down and film like loads of videos in bulk and sort of go from there really. So yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned as I plan on filming a couple more videos. When this goes up, there should be a couple more videos coming up within a few days after. And it's been really awesome coming back on camera and let me know in the comments if you have any sort of uh, specific video requests or whatnot and I have a giveaway that I want to do ASAP, some things that I want to get rid of. So yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon.